Hello, today I'm going to talk about the curious case of the 30.2 tons of missing gold from the Fed Reserve. Now, the numbers were just reported for the withdrawals of gold from the Federal Reserve vaults, and from the numbers reported by other central banks of withdrawals from the Fed Reserve, we know that the, by simple mathematical calculation that 40.5 tons of gold should have been reported by the feds as the amount of gold withdrawn in the final month of December 2014. But instead, the feds only reported about 10.2 tons of gold were withdrawn in December 2014. So there's a missing 30.2 tons of gold. So where did that 30.2 tons of gold come from if it didn't come from the feds uh, just to make the numbers match as far as other central bank withdrawals from the feds and then the feds reporting the amount of central gold withdrawn in 2014 because they don't match up and there's a missing 30.2 tons of gold well the, that amount of gold could come from a number of places even from ukraine alone there are 46 tons of gold stolen by nato and the u.s so maybe the u.s gave germany or the Netherlands back uh, Ukrainian gold. Uh, there is also in Libya when NATO went in and killed Gaddafi. There are 144 tons of gold stolen from Libya. So that gold may have come from Libya as well. In May of last year, there was a swap. Inexplicably, somehow the Ecuadorian president thought it was okay to give Goldman Sachs uh, about 14 and a half of tons of their gold to hold in a in exchange for $580 million of cash uh, that they could put to work. So perhaps Ecuador will never see that 14 and a half tons of gold again as well. So that gold that is missing from the Federal Reserve reports of 30.2 tons, I believe it was. Um, could it come from any of those three countries or any number of other countries as well in which the NATO, NATO and US forces have invaded and the gold has mysteriously disappeared because uh, there's also Iraq, there's also um, gold mines in Afghanistan in which JP Morgan bankers have been seen negotiating uh, for the ownership of these gold mines in Afghanistan uh, in photos that have appeared on the media. Uh, there is other there are other countries in Africa as well that were invaded by NATO forces that also produced a lot of gold. So uh, gold could have come from any number of other sources than actually being the official German gold or Dutch gold because I do believe the Fed Reserve has had sold off a lot of the country's other countries' gold it was holding in past years to, in order to keep the price of gold down. So that kind of goes along with the bug out plans of uh, the uber wealthy that I've been telling you about in other videos in which they have bought uh, airstrips and a lot of real estate in New Zealand uh, as far as like getaways to go to in case uh, you know we get more serious financial earthquakes and the volatility of 2015 that we've seen in commodity markets and oil markets and gold and silver markets and stock markets and currency markets forex markets with the Swiss franc and the euro that certainly I expect to continue for this year uh, because if you understand the fragility of the global financial system at this time, that is something to be expected, something to be planned for. Certainly the uber wealthy are planning for it. And when we get other disconcerting statistics like this with numbers not matching up with central banks data regarding gold, which they never have anyways, because as I told you before, Russia and China are vastly underreporting the amount of gold reserves they hold on a sovereign basis as is the United States, but on the reverse side, I mean, meaning that the United States is vastly over-reporting the amount of gold reserves they really have. So as we engage in this World Series of poker game with Forex markets, with derivative markets, there are going to be a number of other unexpected shocks, but I, sh I say they should be expected shocks because I expect them to be happening. We just don't know the timing of them. But the time to plan to not be devastated is certainly now. Okay, let me know what you think. If you have any other theories about this video as far as why there's 30.2 tons of gold that do not 
match up in the Federal Reserve's reporting of their gold reserve data. Let me know what you think uh, are possible other sources of the missing gold. And um, let me know if you agree in general with the thoughts that there are going to be other huge shocks coming as well in the financial global markets this year. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. And as always, remain intensely curious. And as always, remember to be compassionate and kind to one another. So long.